Nine minutes, 42 seconds. Okay, so I am working on a video game. It's pretty much not exactly from scratch. There's a uh, there's a kit for making space combat games in this app called Unity, and uh, I'm gonna use that as a foundation. I'm gonna add in Halo things, Halo ships, and weapons and things like that, and make it happen. Now, I've only started coding about five weeks ago. One, two. I really don't like math. <laughs> uh, it's 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 too exact. <laughs> and if you, the coders will understand because I started doing it and it's insane that if you get a capital letter, if you need to type in a capital letter and you type in a lowercase letter, the code isn't going to be right. If you type in a colon and you should have put in a semicolon, it's not going to be right. So it needs to be precise. And I, that was a part of why I don't like math extreme precision of it that if you get a number off anywhere the answer is technically incorrect unless there's a fudge factor margin of error that's allowed in the answers and there's traffic frack baskets anyway I just thought about this like two minutes ago and I'm like oh no I've been planning this for too long ah but then I started realizing when I finally got my first code to work, maybe that isn't traffic. When I finally got my first code to work, which was really just a simple move a ship forward, backwards, left, right, and maneuvering around using the mouse, that felt amazing. That was such a great feeling like, hey, I got this thing, it's tangible, it's working. And it took some time to get the exact letters and numbers right, but I got it working. So maybe it's not the precision of it of the numbers that I need to fit that that's frustrating to me maybe it's the I don't see a tangible or a visual representation of what I've worked for in just basic math or in not basic math and complicated math or any math it's just numbers on paper but if I can see this precision in video if I can touch it if I can model it and make it do things that looks aesthetically pleasing to me you know it's like yeah I, I'll go through the I'll go through the frustration of it if I have to because I really want to see this game <laughs> I really want to play a space combat a halo space combat game because I'm a lore nerd and I love I love the big ships and the little ships and sending out the fighters and the missiles and the healing these guys and the buffing these guys and the damaging those guys. It's just, ah, and the Covenant and the Forerunners and the UNSC and the Rebels and the Banished and the Swords of St. Helios and Oni and the post-war ships, post-war UNSC ships, ah, the different leaders. Mm, Admiral Cole and uh, uh, Stanford and and Lord Hood and Captain Keys and the, the the Covenant leaders, all the prophets and the elites and the brutes and the jackals and all these guys and the different methods that you could put into the AI to have the fights be different based on who's leading and what kind of ships they have and and. <laughs> I'm excited. I really want this thing to be good. Oh, man. And learning all this coding is going to be so frustrating. Lord Jesus, help me. Help me, Jesus. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Whew. I just finished this animation. I'm not quite finished. I'm almost finished this animation that I've been working on for a year and a half, a year and three months or so, and uh, I want to make sure that's done before I really get into this, but I've already started a bit, I've done a little bit of coding, keep on trying, keep on learning and getting all the details of this thing, and I'm, I'm, uh, it's going to be a couple years before it, I consider it to be completed, several years knowing how long it takes for a AA company to make a game. Triple A company to make a game. I'll figure it out.